Michael Abbott has the football. It's the Roosters by 30 points and Barch, it's a big leap away. The ball goes out towards Mark Marshall, but it's taken by Barrett. He kicks it up high. He's been a good player. Underneath, whoa, gee, there was a haymaker thrown there. Creek picks up the football, perhaps emerging as the best man on the ground. The fist away from McKinnon. He's had an effect on Hart. Mind you, Hart's kicked four, but he kicked three of those on Simpson. As the ball is pushed forward, Carlson in there over the top. Dead heat situation will have a bounce at the 50 metre line, 29 seconds in to this third term. Sims gets the kick away. In there, Winton. Banfield, good handball out, but uh, put, got, uh, put uh, Hogg under plenty of pressure. Comes back to Bennett, across to Sims. Oh, he's hit high and hard around the head by Fitzsimmons. That's got to be a free kick. And it's on again. Whoa. Gee, they're having a fair dinkum go now. Gee whiz, Sims into it, it is really on, now Perkins is into it as well. There has been some of the biggest haymakers thrown I've ever seen. Well, it's an absolute disgrace. It's doing nothing but putting uh, the game in uh, disrepute. But I must admit, if a club ever wanted to square the day, they want to square it with Stephen Sims. There he is, he put Matthew Simpson off the ground, he knocked him out cold with a, well, with a bad blow behind play. And there's going to be a lot of reports. There'll be a lot of suspension out of this. It is a disgrace. Schumann and Blythe have their numbers taken by Laurie Argent. In the meantime, the ball has gone forward. The play has continued. And the goal has been scored for North Adelaide. 12-10 to 7-3. In the forward pocket area. Players working hard. Oh, that's heavy work again. And Stephen Sims is in there. It's the free kick. Called to be played on. As he goes toward the half-forward area, Mark Mickenwell out of position. Back there, Stephen Barrett does well. The handball came across to Perkins, very quick across to Riley, to Sanders, and North Adelaide, very smooth out of defence. Go down toward the half-forward area. Back there is Goss. Experience that Linda has, he's to give West Adelaide a chance, he's just got to be in front, even if it's just to bring the ball to ground. At the 13-minute mark, Barch front position, red and punched away. It was taken beautifully by Hart. He puts the ball out towards Burton. The sweeping handle goes to Bennett. Back to Hart, who followed up his initial play, and he puts through goal number six. Puts the handball out wide to Morris. Morris to Carlson, puts him under pressure. Has to kick quickly. Back there, working hard is Barrett. Should have been paid that mark, but Riley was there. And Clisby does a clever evade, does a clever second evade. <laughs> Eventually gets the ball back to Barrett. That one to Laurie Argent. Good decision as the ball goes down toward the centre half forward area. Big Mick Redden couldn't control the mark. Got the handball out. Clisby is there. And a high tackle. And players unhappy again on the bottom of that pack. I think it's Redden. 50 metres. Clisby, in fact, is the player. He'll get a 50 metre penalty, which will bring him down well over the centre line. Yes, again, the... Uh the discipline war has been won by North Adelaide today and uh, West Adelaide again with another 50 metre penalty. I think it's about their third. It always seems to bring North Adelaide right up to their forward line and a chance of scoring again. Well, that's about 60 metres. Trevor Clisby about to have his fifth kick and well, we're about to see another 50 metres. Well, I'm not sure what for. I didn't pick that up to be a goal to North Adelaide and uh, this might be enough to win this grand final. Yes, I think um, it was McKinnon getting back too slowly. I'm, I'm just not sure, but uh, it uh, was pretty, uh, pretty serious infringement, I guess, to... Uh, well, it wasn't a serious infringement, but a very serious result. It brought Flisby 100 metres down the ground. He was awarded the free kick in the West Adelaide forward area. And the old fellow, he's only kicked 38 goals in his career. He took his time just strolling down there, soaking up the atmosphere, and he'll enjoy this one as it goes right through the middle. The player, the Bloods, kicking with the breeze as Schumann puts kick number five out towards Perkin. Ross has been a very quiet player. Now Klomp has the football. Play on the call. He's thrown out of it by Byrne. And Perkins and Ross having a little... Tater Tate, and oh, little Lachlan threw him down. There's a victory to the lightweight. But the real winner is North Adelaide, who get 50 metres once again. Leon Grosso in your screen, and uh, what a heartbreaking day for him. Ruled out last minute, knee injury, having to witness this. So Tim Perkins with the football, about 65 metres out. So he won't be able to score. Burton provides a lead. Patterson has the job of looking after that player. 
Perkins puts the ball up. Players set themselves. Goss couldn't take it. Comes to ground. Winton went through McKinnon. Picked up by Burton. Puts it straight up in the air. Players set themselves. Hog underneath that. Back towards Parsons. Good handball to Atkinson. He's only kicked three goals for the season. But you... Oh, what's happened there? To Mark. Well, great effort by Hamilton. Eyes on the ball all the way. And he will not miss. Right on the line. Hamilton with his sixth kick should bring up his second goal he kicked one in the first term and uh, as someone mentioned earlier they were right West Adelaide just can't bridge the gap another goal to Hamilton well once again it, it, it really came from an incident down the ground with Perkins and Lachlan Ross and uh, West Adelaide take the advantage 50 metres or North Adelaide again 50 metres puts them forward puts it out in front of Byrne getting there is uh, Lindner as well and really isn't or hasn't controlled the ball at all well Bruce Lindner today Trevor Clisby has done a great job in defence a little bit slow in getting the kick away only as far as Lindner always caught with it has to handball the ball away and North Adelaide will get it out of defence oh so easily again towards the goal face Parsons and Goss once more and Burton couldn't quite get there it runs over the line for a point in fact, Parsons and Goss are into it. They're letting some beauties fly again. Gee whiz, and uh, Parsons, he was very physical in North Adelaide's 87 Premiership win. And he's letting a few go today. Well, if Commissioner Beasley's at the football, and I'm sure he is, he'll be cancelling uh, any engagements he's got next week. There will certainly be some attendees at Football Park. It was the Roosters by eight points at quarter time, 30 points at half time, and at three quarter time they lead by 38 points. And there the goal scorer is Daryl Hart. He's been very decisive in the forward area with six, but and Hamilton have chipped in for two. And